What's your favorite bird friend? It's Indias. What's your favorite, favorite bird, bird friend? friend? It's, it's in the US.
Oh, it's your favorite bird friend. It's gonna be a switch. Whoa. Good morning, and this got banana. Your microphone's not on, India. But she, she's got a banana, and I'm impatient. So, hello. Feed the feed the cat, India. I'm streaming. You're not. You're eating a banana. <laughs> what a good start. There's another thing that could be changed, may I suggest? Uh, yeah. What's up? Zero boxes to spawn after 30 seconds, please. They should be doing that. Are they not doing that anymore? Yeah, they have a destroy 30 seconds on them, but it doesn't appear to be firing. We're just starting up. How are you doing?
You didn't you didn't get here too soon where I'm we're here India's having breakfast I'm just vibing I'm talking um the trailer oh I could run the trailer you're right dog do be vibing Nick Mundo it's going good how are you uh check out this trailer wait did that work no. Did it work now? No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Nothing be working. I can just do this though. Nope. That didn't work either. Okay. <laughs> un, uno, uno momento. <laughs> Por favor. Do this. Oh, we're professional. Professional streamers. Professional. Close the overlay. Open the overlay. Built the overlay in Unity. How cool is that? It's made in Unity. Just the controllers. There we go. <laughs> Flip to side B. A little louder. Can I just talk for a second about how much I love the fact that Rise has brought back physical comedy to yes. animation? All manner of amazing things that you might need in everyday life. Good job. Thank you. No. One no shit! <laughs> oh no! Ah! Ah! Oh no! Fucking follow us. <laughs> All right, Mike. <laughs> Put your sass away. Put, your, oh, put your I sass thought... back in your pocket. <laughs> no, it's all over the floor now. Oh, Spill the sass everywhere. I thought I thought you meant that India Swift looked exactly how you thought they would in real life. You thought I I did. Well, that's cool. It's scruffy, fleece wearing, blurry mess in the background. Uh, hello. Yes, welcome, welcome, India. Are you done with your banana? Yeah, you want to be on on um, microphone now, yeah? Okay. Pinky Pink Heart coming in with the cool cool infos. Uh, yeah, that was a trailer for our various YouTube channels that we've um we've got. So we ha used to have one. We now have three. Um, one of them is dedicated to our Let's Plays that we just started building up. Uh. If you if you want to check those out, no pressure. But you might find if you enjoy what we're doing here on the stream, you might enjoy what we're doing elsewhere. That's all I'm saying. He must say yes. Let's make him say yes. Oh, well, currently India's. India's um, recently cut her hair. She looks a bunch more like the bird model. Oh, it's your favorite bird friend. It's India Swift. Wow. It was really nice. Um, India went in to pick up some sushi from from a um, a close by sushi uh, restaurant, and they complimented her hair. They're like, "Cool hair, bro."
Oh, hello. Yeah, the sushi people were like, nice hair. <laughs> How did they really say it? I like your hair. Aww. I go there enough that they're like, I recognize this person. The Sonic playthrough intro animation got some nice comments. Oh, did it? Oh, cool. Oh, that's awesome. Hold on, I've got to find out. Did it? <laughs> let's, let's, oh, all, yeah. let's all take an adventure together. <laughs> RMDK said opening animation is gorgeous. That's so nice. Oh, swish. That's cool. I might put that up on Twitter to... Um, let people know about the Let's Play or oh, something. Oh, that's a good idea. <coughs> I forgot that we could have just used the intro animation. Not not to throw you under the bus, India. Yeah? But um, the Sonic Adventure videos, they were tagged as pe uh, like people in blogs. So I went and set those to oh, gaming. thank you. Um, that's okay, you can throw me under the bus. Sorry, I must have missed that. No, it's fine. It's There's like so much stuff to you enter know what? in. It's YouTube's freaking. It's like at the bottom of the bottom of the settings yeah, for uploading a video. Yeah, so much stuff. I Show I'd more. That. That's a fucking category, YouTube. Why? Yeah, yeah. I thought I'd done it because I remember, I remember spotting and being like, "Oh, holy crap! That's another thing I have to enter in and doing it for all the videos." But I must have done it for the Animal Crossing ones instead. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's share our screens. You ready, India? Uh, no, I'm not in the call with you yet. Oh, that's far. Far. Oh, I got DM'd. I'm starting a voice call with Here you. Are. Who DM'd you, huh? Birdie. Birdie. They were playing Monster Hunter. Yesterday, um, Mike was going around the flat screaming, No, Verdi! Where's my Verdi? Because he always gets Verdi sauce on his um, burritos, and they stopped doing it. He did stop doing it. I'm very emotionally wrecked from that. That's the most emotional I've ever seen you. No, don't open Premiere. I wish to open Chrome. Do you no. have some kind of fork or spoon or something? My tea bag is down, down in the bottom of my mug. I have and a chopstick. The tea, the tea is a, hot. I have a chopstick, but it's covered in hair ties. Uh, okay. But well, have you been Can using you the chopstick yes. for anything? Feeding? Yes. You haven't been using it to, like, scratch your back or anything, right? And that. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's really good. Look, it's got a square end. That's a really good. Gets all the. Gets, gets, gets I the. I know. I, I'm good. Thanks, though. I'll just use my fingers and the bird. Wait. Them. I have a knife. What have you used the knife for? Nothing except for opening packages. Okay, cool. This is good. This is clean enough. Yes. Get that tea bag out. Uh, okay, we're ready to share. We're ready to share. Cool. Um, I like that we've kept like 47 people occupied with just silliness. <clears throat> oh yeah, uh, so if you saw in the trailer, India's now animating one of the shots. She's adding lighting to the um, versus bear and bird thing. That's looking dope, India. Oh, thanks, man. And I uh, was gonna code stuff. Um, the, yeah. The cereal boxes should be being destroyed after 30 seconds. For some reason, they're not. Which is weird.
Oh, that and yeah, that that anim habo. <laughs> Wait, why is everything green? Oh, oh, Jizo. What, what are you doing? Oh, Jizo. <laughs> I leave you alone for two seconds, and this happens. There we go. Fixed it. Wow. Oh man, today, today has been. Things like we recently reached a thousand followers on Twitch. Now that's pretty radical. That was a little while ago. It was true at the time. It was true at the time. <laughs> Today's only just started, Mike. It did. It, it has. How come what you're thinking about? What you're talking about, huh? Also, look, here's. Here's the other cereal box that we don't really get to see because it's only the Swifty one that gets fired. Is it only the Swifty one that gets fired? Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> We've almost reached 4K resolution in followers. That's pretty. That's pretty dope. Um, yeah, why are you, don't, don't worry, Kemira animates, uh, we're, this is pretty much the start of the stream, we got a little raid, we got a little, we got a little sassy, shake it's, your booty, it's, shake your booty, it's, like you've not missed really much of anything. Anything resembling progress. Ooh, Wendy, that's looking cool. Cool. It's got some problems. I think... Mm -hmm. I think layer-wise, maybe I should be in you front of you. You should be in front, you. huh? You think you should be in front? Yeah, because otherwise you obscure me with your silly hair tuft. My silly hair tuft, huh? You think it's stupid? Do you think it's silly? We'll see. I'll show you. What do you think? Do you mean what do I think? Do you think you should be in front or behind? I think I should be in front. Down the bed. <laughs> okay. Are we, are we really verses about the verses screen? I don't know. You tell me. Anyway, um... Time... If stuck... I think I've screwed everything up. Yeah, I really have screwed everything up. Oh no! Hold on. There's just a bit here where it pops. So I need this to be lower down. So I'm just... Yeah, that... That's less of a bump. A Toon Boom alternative. Um. Yeah. Uh, Blender, as Hinky Pink Art says, could be could be something that you would um, check out if you want camera moves and that sort of thing. And then the grease pencil in, in Blender is maybe your best bet. You've tried a grease pencil, but and it feels a little clunky. That's, that's fair. Let's see. Uh... Oh, I don't know if Creator um, 
to put tweening or not. I've never tried tweening in it. Yeah. yeah. Are you just meaning like transforming over time sort of tweens? Yeah. After Effects can do that. After Effects can, but that's that's another expensive. And Flash can do that. Yeah, there's um, Adobe Animate potentially. Yeah, it's difficult to recommend things just because um, I don't tend to use tweening very much. So I'm not I wasn't completely sure if it exists in certain programs or not. It, yeah, if you wanted to like composite your stuff afterwards, you could do it in After Effects. He must say yes. Make him say yes. <laughs> What's my favorite frame rate? 24 frames a second, you fool. <laughs> Don't make me send that noodle video around. <laughs> you fool. I would. I love 24 because it gives me the, the freedom to use all the ones um, I want and all the twos I want and all the threes I want and all the fours I want. This gives me the most freedom. You know what? I'm just going to write a new function inside of this is this is silly. Yeah, the noodle vid's great. It explains it really well. I think it's possible to um, still use tweening when you're learning, so long as you are controlling the spacing and understand like what you're going for and what the, the value is there. Because tweeting can be super useful, but it needs to be controlled by a person so you don't get straight in betweens for everything. Because that's what a computer gives you. Is it doesn't understand how to favour a position. Yeah, After Effects has a camera that you can move around. Gotcha. Krita doesn't, I don't think. Where is that blue coming from? I'm so confused. I can see it, so it has to be somewhere. It's gotta be on a different layer, I guess. Weird. Guess I better find out which layer it's on. Okay, so this should let's cut the time down to three seconds. If I press, if I press play, it should disappear after three seconds. One, two, three. Cool, it is gone. Is there a reason you don't want to use Timboom? Because <laughs> it feels like you're describing everything you want, but you want an alternative to Timboom. Uh... But Timboom is like... Timboom's... Like, the good thing about Timboom is that stuff. It's like, specifically, it's, it's good at that kind of stuff. Gotcha. I think if you only want to use, like, the drawing part of it and the cameras, you can do that with the, the cheapest version. 
which is about Maybe. 20 euros, 30 euros per month or something like that. What you can do is you can use the free trials. The free trials give you a month of the software for free. So you could get, like, if the, um, if the camera stuff doesn't work properly in the lowest version of the program, which is like essentials or something, uh, shit, I've been doing this the wrong layer, it's an each. Then you can at least get advanced and premium for a month free each, so you could have two months potentially of being able to use it. This is the layer I want to be on. Such a fool. The checkbox on the Swift serial was off for destroy time. Are you kidding me? It's pretty I just funny. rewrote the script for destroy time and it wasn't even on. <laughs> oh no. Okay, there we go. That should be a little bit smoother now. I've hopefully fixed that jump. Yeah, there's less of a jump now, which is good. So just to confirm... of cereal will also disappear. Thanks once again to Sheeps 3D for making these cereal boxes for us. Yeah, thank you. Okay, let's see. I have to do lighting on these now. Cause it, it won't I'm running it in the, the test one. I'm running the test one. Okay. I don't, I, I don't know if they stream. Mm -hmm. Why did the, is this one 30 seconds? Cool. Okay. So they should both. Thirty. Thirty. Okay. Pablo. I've, I have done it. Hey. Okay, Gib Gib cereal. Gib cereal, Gib cereal, Gib cereal, Gib cereal, Gib cereal. Client do box. Go to definition. Hey, swift ties. Underscore one, underscore lighting. I wish it was a faster way to do this, but sometimes you just gotta buy the bullet and do it. Var int uh, choice equals random. How do we get a random number? Random number. Thanks, Google. It gave me a random number. No, no, it, That's all you asked for. Script. Uh, yeah, it should have been like random number script unity. Random, random range. Random range. Oh. Oh, I see what that blue line was. I'm an idiot. I just deleted a bit of my hair. Hmm. What an idiot. Jeez. Oh. Uh, one, two. I was a fool. Random is an ambiguous reference between Unity Engine dot random and System dot random. What? How do I? Oh shit! 
because I did this. This? Can I just say bar? I don't know how to specify whether it's system or not. <laughs> I need to use both. I need to use both. Do I have to? Oh, I'm, oh, 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 I can just, I... If I just say system dot random, wait, can I? Is it possible for me just to fill this in? No! I Why guess, would it be? I guess system doesn't have an engine. You happy? Are you happy now? Making cool. me both yelling at our screens. If choice equals one. I'm doing this in a real dumb way. Just because I'm angry. Oh. <laughs> so I'm <laughs> I'm like deliberately doing it in a Why why are you doing it why are you angry? Why are you doing it wrong? <sighs> I'm doing it because it's a pain. Why I do are you doing it wrong? Because I have to take extra time to say it up properly to do it right. Then do that. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to, huh? I need to push this down. Cool, then I have that. Go. Why is it not working? Ah! Oh, now it. W oh, now you work. Makes me feel like maybe it could have worked all along, but I just didn't. Didn't drag the lasso tool. Oh, you can't use these because it's inside of the if, and this might not exist, but it exists on both paths. How's it? How's it going, by the way, guys? How are you guys doing? Oh my gosh, it's Friday. Ah. Fine. I don't want to fix this elegantly. Oh, what happened? Oh, well, you should do it properly. Why don't you do it properly? See, I'm taking the thing that you said to me and I'm saying it back Just to you turning it because to now me. you're in that situation. Right. I stopped looking at the chat. Sorry. Um... Okay. There's a, there's a whole goddamn chromeal. A whole goddamn chromeal? Yeah. You gotta read it. No, I don't. You do. You just said you just said you saw it. The person who sees it has to read it. The, the law. That should not be the law. Crow law. I think it should be if I start reading it out without realizing it's a crow mail, then I have to do the crow mail. But me simply noticing something that you should have noticed shouldn't I like, feel like punish you're me. Like, oh, there's a crow mail. You could just be reading it. Paste stamps, because it's stamps this time. Okay. Stamps, what'd you got there? You got a letter? Give me the give me the letter, stamp stamps. Give me the letter. Give me the give me the letter. No, give it to him, stamps. Thank you. It's from Kurzuk. It says, I haven't made as much progress as I would have liked with work this week and noticed I tend to get easily distracted when I'm dealing with something I'm struggling with. Can't deal, nail down the pose, figure out the right timing, spacing, and anim, etc. Can anyone here relate and can they share what they do to prevent that distracted feeling? Hmm. I'm gonna have to read that again just to like make sure. Uh, have they noticed that they easily get distracted when they're just struggling with with something in yes. what they're trying to do? Yes, 100%. Putting on music that makes me feel like a shonen protagonist helps. Um, that's what I do when I need to intensely focus. So I put on uh, music that gets me pumped up, like you say, run or something. But yeah, I definitely have had that feeling. So you're not alone. How about you, Mike? 
that's my everyday. Um, what do you do? <laughs> uh, not get as much work done as I would like. I don't. I, I don't have a really good, a good kind of. If if you guys come up with a good solution for this, I'll try it. Out. That's what I'm saying. And you're looking for a solution too. Yeah. Pink and pink heart suggests uh, I try to force myself to use tomato timer or pomodoro and work in 25 minutes and leave my desk completely for short breaks. Maybe you could make the work intervals even shorter so you're like only concentrate for 15 minutes then break. And maybe that'll get your brain juice to flow better. No shaming having bad weeks though. You're still doing great. They just happen from time to time. So I think Kurzik recently started up a new new job. Um, so it's like... Um, uh, early in the kind of process of figuring out what she has to do for it, so I can I can relate to that. Uh, Palbro says, uh, sadly, isolating yourself from distractors, maybe bringing some instrumental work, friendly music to help you get in the zone and fill the silence. But that's easier said than done, though. Yeah, it's it's a tough it's a tough problem to have. It's a tough problem to solve <laughs> for sure. So like, make the cube wobble and scale up until India dismisses it. <laughs> I wish that I had like a good solution uh, for this, but I really don't. Um, it's something I frequently just have to like push through. It doesn't happen much when I'm super inspired though. Like it mainly happens when, um, like you said, I'm distracted or not really enjoying what I'm doing. Sometimes it happens when there's a lot of pressure on the thing that I'm doing. Because I think my brain is looking for an escape. It's like, how do I get out? How do I get out of a situation? Didn't I restart this? Just now. Restart what? The... The serial thing. Or did I not restart it? Did I just make that up? I thought I restarted that just now. I didn't restart it, did I? Did I? Just restart it again either way and then you go good, right? I thought I was gonna do the two different boxes. Looks like I did restart it because they're, they're, they're leaving. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, cool. We're on to dogs lighting. What could it be? What could it be? Chimera Anime said, I have seen many people use Toon Boom Studio in 2020. Did they discontinue Toon Boom Studio? Do you guys have any idea how they got that? Toon Boom Studio? I haven't seen people use that in years. Um, I have no clue why they'd be using it. Or, like, it only makes sense for them to use it if maybe Toon Boom are making a new version. Maybe they're beta testing it or something. They might just have been using it for years. She might just have never stopped using it, but that that seems strange. Oh, that does seem odd. Okay, let's see. We're gonna do uh, a quick rough shadow pass on Doi to make sure we know where to put the shadows. The stream died. Oh, um, I said I didn't know. Uh, it, it seems odd that people would be using Team Boom Studio 
nowadays because it's such an old program unless Team Boom have like rejigged it and are letting people beta test it or something. Like, is it possible they've just never stopped using it? <laughs> Evelyn says, I think it's a pirated copy going around. Wow, I mean, there's, at this point, there's better software you can get than Toon Boom Studio. So if people are, are using Toon Boom Studio, they're probably better to use a different program just because it's not, it's not very good. Am I wrong in thinking that What is it? If I remember, a lot of the free programs have the capabilities now that Toon Boom Studio had back then. So there's really like no reason to use it over the software. <clears throat> I'm trying to use a, a random r number generator to be like... Um, pick between one and two. If one, do this. If two, do this. And, doesn't appear to be working. <laughs> oh, I hate Toon Boom. I'd never use it myself, ever. It's the worst. You think Team Boom Studio is better than Adobe Animate? Maybe. I never used Adobe Animate back when I was using Team Boom Studio. It's oh, just, uh, Max exclusive. It just is so old now. Like when I used it, it was back in university. Years and years and years and years ago. Because Toon Boom Studio was even before Toon Boom Digital, which was before Toon Boom Animate, which was before Toon Boom Harmony. <laughs> it's so many uh, steps backwards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the the brush in um in anime is really what got me. Or rather should I say flash, because it was flashback when I used it. The brush was just nasty, man. Just did not feel nice to use. But then people have made some incredible stuff in it. You know? Like um a lot of the powerhouse stuff was done in flash. Yeah, Clyde made really good stuff, I bet. So people have still made incredible stuff with it. Uh, ben, I realized that it was um, max exclusive, so it was generating a random number between one and one. Yay, we got dog cereal on the stream now. Nearly all the time we use zero at the beginning. Gotcha. <laughs> all right. All right, all right, all right. Did I put an explosion responder on the dog one? I bet you I didn't. Nope. I did. It's all good. What do you think to uh, this kind of lighting for you, Mike? Or would you like it like adjusted at all? I like that. I think it makes the expression clear. You still get the impression that yeah, I'm being illuminated from the front. Okay. Uh, I've used DaVinci Resolve just a little bit. Um, but on first impressions, it feels pretty good. It feels good that you can do a lot of um, I can look at this. I'm not sure whether Premiere does this or not, but I noticed something in um, DaVinci Resolve where you could do like edits to a layer above your footage. 
And then, so say you wanted to have a part of your footage where there's a zoom in or a crop to, you can apply that above and then you can move the, the footage underneath to where you want that to be or scale it to however long you want that. And I like that workflow because it means you can copy and paste the effect over different parts and it's a little quicker rather than trying doing like a cut, applying the effects to a particular cut of what you have. I don't know, it just felt like, felt pretty cool to me. I also tried out um, applying one of the audio filters to our um, recording of Skyrim and it sounded pretty good just straight out of the box, so. In terms of the Skyrim stuff, um, yeah, I kind of feel like that would be a nice one to stream. Yeah, I think it would be. Rather than uh, have dedicated episodes that we record without people. Yeah, it's because there's a lot of like meandering in that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. So I was wondering if you wanted to like maybe stream that with me at weekend. Th do you want to do it this weekend? Yeah, I'd love to. I'm up for that. And then I guess we could just put the VODs up on the uh, gameplay channel instead. Yeah. <laughs> you think you dreamt about Skyrim last night, Krizik? Oh, really? And I'm what happened? Oh, thank you, Camera Animates. You like the... Uh... You like the intro, the look at like pixel animation I did. That was all me, baby. It was all Mike. It was all me, baby. I didn't do nothing. You helped me with doing the um, the the, the pan, the, the smear s smear pan thing. Yeah, the whip pan. But all I did was tell you how they worked. That was that was helpful though. Wasn't I didn't do it all by myself. He did the mm. Considering changing the shape. No, I'll keep it the way it is. No. Oh! Oh! Crow mail. We got a crow mail from Pinky Pink. Who says, Doig und Swift sind sub. I don't know what that means. Also, shout out to Eb, they're very sub two. I don't know what that means. I'm assuming sub is good, but probably not pronounced like that. Sub. Sus. Oh, I see. Is it pronounced sus? Like, like the meme. Maybe I, I googled. That would make sense. I googled it to say that we're sus. Sweet, it's sweet in German. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Evelyn says I'm not sub. I'm not a sandwich. <laughs> oh, oh, crow mail. I got a crow mail. So it wait, su sus in uh, German means sweet. The B is a sharp S. How do you do a sharp S? So Let's see, the crow mail is from Chimera Animates who says, how do you guys get ideas for creating original animation or what to animate today in general? Have you been through art block? And if yes, how did you counter it? That's, that's a good question. In terms of what we, um, how we decide what to animate every day, it's like a collection, it's, it's a toss up between a bunch of projects we have on the back burner that we always want to work on but never really have time for or what it feels like is most urgent 
to get done now. So the reason we're doing the trailer now is because it felt like it was urgent to get this animated ASAP. So our priority switched to this. Um, but we also have a bunch of projects that we really want to do that are just like on the back burner that we can swap to. Yeah. Um, we've definitely had art block though and those days are really hard you know um, sometimes it can just be that you don't really feel like working on any of the stuff you've got to work on because every single thing feels so much like a mountain that you're like I just don't have the energy to tackle them right now or sometimes for me it manifests itself as days where just everything I draw doesn't come out right and I just have like a really bad drawing day where I can't I don't feel like I can make any meaningful progress because I'm not happy with anything I've done. And how do we get through them? In terms of the ideas, um, when everything feels too big and too mountainous, I either try and get myself a small win, which I do by stuff like a one hour animation or um, just, just doing something simple off a to-do list like sending an email that needs to be sent or something similar like that um, or I push forward and do stuff anyway and the act of, of doing stuff often often means I end up enjoying it more than I thought I would and it feels like less of a mountain than I thought it would so if a project feels particularly big and scary and um, overwhelming and I do a little thing from it then I get like a nice little oh I did something that helped that project along and suddenly the project itself doesn't seem as massive and when I get into doing it about 10 minutes in or something I find myself actually enjoying the work anyway how about you Mike um how to decide what to do how to decide what to do every day and how to overcome art block when you have it like how do you come up with ideas how do you decide what to do and how do you deal with um with blockages hmm. i think it helps to set yourself a a goal that is um like adjacent to or it's it's not the hmm Like, if you had a goal, say, to do, like, uh, finish one animation per week, then it gives you a kind of, like, bookend to, like, meet. Um, this is a tricky one, because I, I, I feel like I do a lot of different stuff, and it's hard to keep on task. Um, I think I think aiming towards something can help you decide what's most important like say you, you want to you want to make that one animation for a week or animate two seconds per day or something i don't know what's a realistic animation target um i think filtering it by like oh i've got to get it done by this time can help prioritize what what you feel like you can get done in the time and that helps kind of filter and sort like what's what's the most kind of reachable attainable and if like if you can do anything for however long for a large amount of time then you're like i don't know what to work on first but if you have like a really sh you set yourself a shorter deadline it kind of like makes it a little bit clearer like if you can reach for one thing you can see which one is um the closest if that makes sense yeah, that makes sense to me. Um, if lately you haven't been getting any ideas to animate, so you're just doing animation exercises. Animation exercises are still very good That's and useful fine. to do, for sure. Uh, so definitely don't feel bad about doing that. Um, when I don't have ideas, and maybe this isn't the best advice, I don't know, but I, I fall back a lot on fan stuff. Like... Um, to the point where I have like way too many fan ideas and probably not enough original ideas but like 
if I'm stuck, I animate some panels from a comic I really love, or um, I do something to do with Sonic, you know? Because it's a lot easier to come up with an idea from a base than to come up with an idea from nothingness. <laughs> Look at you there's doing chromails! Uh, there's a chromail from Ben. It says, Ohio gazimus. Ohio! All the Japanese people laughing at us for our terrible pronunciations. Gazimasu, maybe? It's mass. You don't pronounce the U. Well, then I got it right the first time. I remember one time in in, in Japan, India learned how to <laughs> India learned how to ask how much is this to shopkeepers, and so she was like armed, ready. She's like, I know how to ask for like, how much this is. This is gonna be awesome. I can totally ask in Japanese how much this is. <laughs> and then she got an answer, and she's like, shit, I didn't learn what <laughs> yeah. what numbers were. I was like, how much is this in Japanese? And they answered in Japanese, and I was like, should have learned numbers. <laughs> An idiot. They laughed at me as they well should have. I was like, I'm so sorry. I didn't think this I didn't think this through properly, obviously. Um yeah. this, it was really funny. I was in the shop with her. I didn't even think of it either. I was like, oh cool, what yeah, idiots. you can ask how much how much is it. Such idiots, oh my god. Um they were very nice about it though. Um India also learned can I take a photograph of your dog? That was an important one to learn. And I, I think that Google Translate may have been shitting me with it. People did look people confused. people gave me like some odd looks. So I think that, that it wasn't completely I... right, but they seemed to understand. So maybe I was just saying it in a really weird way, you know? So it got the job done, but I, I was a little bit like, what am I saying? That's like, <laughs> feels obviously like I'm saying something wrong here. Did you Google, can I, okay. So I, I Googled, can I take a picture of your dog? And that's, anata no inu no shashi no totomo edesuka? Yeah. And I'm gonna see if. It translates back. If. Can I take a photograph? Oh no, no, it's the same, it's the same. I just okay. wondered if it was like, one way, like, can I take a picture of your dog doesn't translate well. It'd be like taking an actual like print or something from their dog or whether it like, yeah, does it, it, it was, would it have been clever enough to be like, oh, you mean photograph? Yeah, it felt like something like that. It felt like people could understand what I meant, but it was phrased in a strange way or something. <laughs> Do you think we could put... How do you think we could put out the one hour anim theme? I think that would be really tough. Um, the best way to do it... Like, if you wanted to make it a... Kind of global thing... What I would suggest would be giving it its own Twitter page... Called One Hour Anim. And then... Posting on that as your pinned post. This is going to happen every week on this day at this time. And then... On the day at that time, you would post the theme to the Twitter page and then you would retweet the people who have entered their stuff. It could be its own Twitter or it could be the Peg Bar Collective Twitter. It could be. I think it might get a little bit lost in the Peg Bar Collective Twitter. Why? As being a thing. Well, because I think you're still going to get a lot of people going, how do I join the one hour anim thing? When is it? What's the theme? Whereas if you have a peg bar, um, sorry, if you have a one hour anim Twitter with all the rules posted on it, then it's very clear. So you know, the pinned tweet is, it happens every day from like, it happens this day at this time and we'll post the theme at, you know, when it's time to start. I think... Whereas on the peg bar, you would have to probably scroll down a lot to try and find the post where the rules for it are. I think every time you split off something to be specific, you weaken... 
the potential for it building up. Disagree. <laughs> you know. You are speaking as a person who chose to split off our channels into three different channels. Yeah, and I think less people watch things because of it because it takes longer to build up an audience for specific things. It's much easier to find though. I mean, it's, your, it's up to you guys though, because this is your thing. So that's like our takes on it. I think Mike thinks it would be good on the Peg Bar Collective Twitter. I think it would be good as its own thing. But either way, it's going to be cool. Yeah, there's literally nothing. What What is the Peg Bar Collective Twitter? Does it exist yet? Yeah, it does. I made it. You made it? Yeah. What is it? Peg Bar. I think it's Peg Bar Animation. That account doesn't exist. You made the Google. I made the, the Twitter as well. What What's the Twitter then? I think it's Peg Bar Animation. It's not Peg Bar Animation. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking at it, it doesn't exist. Well, Tib says that it's currently like bar underscore peg. Bar underscore peg. Okay. Did you make that, Tib? Thank you for the follow. Thank you very much. There we go. I didn't realize that I'd like accidentally pasted the lighting onto every single frame because I still had multiple frames selected. I didn't even know you could do that. Like, I, don't, I normally stay clear of using multiple frame commands because I'm so scared it's going to crash my program. But, but it doesn't, it doesn't crash anymore because my computer is amazing. So I'm just like, I can use it and I'm discovering all these new things you can do with it that I never knew you could do with it. It really annoys me that the peg bar is taken and it hasn't tweeted and it has no followers and it's just sitting there and whoever is using it, whoever made it, doesn't use it at all. Well, I mean, that's okay. Just had to become a better known peg bar. And Peg Bar is an Irish animation networking group in Dublin. Oh, cool. What do you know? Smell wild. I feel like we knew that. How many letters can a Twitter name be? Um, I don't know. Twitter handle character limit. 15. Okay. So peg bar is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. <laughs> we can be peg bar collective <laughs> if we don't put an E on the end. <laughs> peg bar collective. What about Pegbar Collectib? No. <laughs> it's not about one person. It's... I was only joking. <laughs> that also, it did occur to me though. PG bar. That doesn't have. That, that doesn't. Oh, PG BR. Maybe you just take out all of the uh, vowels. What about peg bar animation? <laughs> if you take out all the vowels, it's just like. Peg bar collective.
I mean, I kind of like, I kind of like Peg Bar Collective without the E. <laughs> without the E, no. It looks cute. <laughs> Pegging friends is sadly 15 characters. That's right on the limit. You could have it. Yeah, that's why I said sadly. <laughs> oh. Okay, what about the peg pocalypse? Peg peg pocalypse. Yeah. What about peg bear? Well, it's not about any one person, Mike. I mean, peg underscore bar doesn't exist either. Is our underscores annoying though? Yeah. I find them annoying. But then I'm a stickler for um, punctuation, so. Smeg bar. <laughs> That's terrible. I mean, the peg bar makes sense, but the peg bar was taken when I looked because that was what I was initially going to call the Twitter account. What about the most peg bar? The peggiest bar. <laughs> the peg bar. Is it, is it peg bar? The peg bar. Pig bar. Poggers bar. Oh, can you get dashes as well? Dashes is pretty cool. Oh, imagine we could get like dots. Can you get dots in your name? Do dots, ha do, do, do dots work? I can't see why not. Because we could be... Uh, we could have been anything that we wanted to be. <laughs> Sorry. Never appropriate to start singing musicals. Or is it always appropriate? No. No. Sorry that page doesn't exist when you put a dot. Oh, you can't have dashes either. What about the peg drop? What about the big peg in the sky? <laughs> I wish this could exist. It can't, but I wish it could. What is it? I'm pasting it into chat. <laughs> peg bar official. That's pretty, pretty dope. Yeah, Pablo, literally peg underscore bar is available. Oh. But pe peg, I think peg bar itself. Can't believe the Dublin one got it, but yeah, peg bar. Maybe we should just ask Peg Bar nicely if they'll give it to us. They've been running for 10 years, but you know, whatever. I mean, what are they? An Irish animation networking group. Right. And they have hello Peg Bar at gmail.com. Promel is taken. Really? No way. <laughs> I guess so. Cromel is a pretty popular thing. Taken by Rachel Crow with zero 
followers and zero tweets. Why have you had that for nine years, Rachel? Why? Do something Rachel! with it. Rachel, do something Rachel! with it. I guess people just like are considering joining the platform. Peg bar pals. Aw, that's cute. <laughs> Pal Barro, that's so good. Anyway, I just installed a uh, visual effect graph. Good for you. <laughs> well done. Very impressive. Look at my sunny kitty, okay. Let's have a look. Oh my gosh! They're so fluffy! Don't you just want to scrumple that belly? That's so cute! <laughs> oh! So adorable! Sun cat. Whole lot of fun. Something to be done. You could have um, those who peg together. Oh, That's a lot of letters. Peg. Yeah, it's too many letters. Peg together, though. <laughs> Peg together. Peg together forever. Peg friends. Peg together doesn't exist. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> I, Who something... could pass up such a prime, a prime Twitter name? Peg together would at least raise some eyebrows. And people might like click for the entry. What about people who are looking for pegging companions though? And we're getting in the way. <laughs> but. Because they're like, I just want someone to peg with. And then we're like, hey, pegging friends. And they're like, oh, finally. And then we're like, now we're an animation thing. And they're like, oh, fucking lame. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Vert says, we can do two things, India. <laughs> That's true. We don't have to be known for only one thing. We can start an animation theme Let's Play called Let's Peg. <laughs> Let's Peg. <laughs> Let's get pegging. Well, here... here... Peggy, 18. Is one hour Adam taken? No. Part of me is like Peg Bar is as a brand. Um, it's it's kind of like animation generic i don't know you're saying it's not very searchable because it's, it's so generic yeah i'm saying i don't care i don't see it as a brand um you I, support kink twitter okay but um i like peg together then but i understand i understand also that you have a good point it wouldn't affect my decision but it might affect your guys decision since you guys are like this is a space for everyone on, on the peg bar. So I guess it depends what your intentions are with it. You know.
suggestions of other names. Hmm. I mean, Animation Breakfast Club is going to be way too long, right? It's going to be way more than 15 characters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 30, 14, 15. You get to breakf. Animation breakf. <laughs> if only animation didn't have to be such a long word. Maybe we yeah, should just have animation know. burrito instead. Is there another word for collective? The peg bar pals. <laughs> Sounds like some kind of kids TV <laughs> show. Hey, we're the peg bar pals. We're going to teach you about animation! And in breakfast. And in... <laughs> I like Peg Bar Co-op, but I do read it as Peg Bar Coop. <laughs> the Peg Bar Commune. Peg Bar Cult. <laughs> Peg Bar Union. I was looking for something which began with P because I like, like the um, repeated peas in peg bar pals and stuff. Peg bar poop. Peg bar poop. <laughs> that was just to make you laugh. <laughs> Necromancers United. Yeah, legalized necromancy. Let's get some light. We're not here to time. fight. We need your help. Even though literally every time we Yo, talk to you, you double cross us, kidnap us, or threaten to destroy everything we love. Maybe we are here for a fight. Guy! Invisible guy, thank you so much. Thank you for the raid. We are just uh, doing some animation. How are you doing? It's such a sad, a sad song. This is the way I should have done it to begin with. <laughs> but don't worry, I figured it out now. You figured it out, have you? <laughs> yeah, sure have. We were talking, yeah, we were talking about very normal things. We were trying to come up with a name for um, a potential Twitter account. I was, how was your stream? There's a guy. Thank you very much for bringing people over. It's very cool of you. If anyone doesn't know who we are, we're just a couple of goobers. We do animation. We hang out every weekday morning. We goof off. We show that animation is approachable. It was good playing some games on the show. Oh, you got a PS5, have you? Oh. Oh, PS5. Yeah, oh. Why it's gonna be so jelly? I'm I'm a little jelly. I still want to play Spider-Man. So jelly. PS5. He's so jelly. Only a little though. Only a lot. He's so jelly. Only a little. He's shaking with rage right now. Only a little. <laughs> He's only shaking with rage a little. <laughs> I guess I grew instinct. If a guy says I understand I was jelly up to and until this week. Now you don't have to be anymore. Now you got the goods.
the stream is five seconds behind real time or something. Maybe do a refresh. Maybe do a little refresh. Maybe give it a go. It might it might just be that way though. What about the peg bar peeps? Sometimes I call you guys peggers in everyday conversation with Mike and he's like, don't call them that. <laughs> Holy shit, ood. Uh, uh, sorry, because like, I ood at the exact same time with India for the exact same length. Yeah, I saw. Wait, what were you saying just before I interrupted you? <laughs> what do you mean? About what? I don't know. You were saying something. I'm sorry, you should have listened. I can't remember now. I don't know what, which bit you were talking about. I say a lot of things. <laughs> you do say a lot of I things. I do say a lot of things. And to be fair, 70% of them can be tuned out with no consequences. But still. The lack of respect on you. India. Ah! I'm giving you a I'm giving you a super sane effect. That's what? what I'm doing right now. Okay, that's that's cool. It's a little shitty at the moment. That's okay, so am I. <laughs> it looks great. I'm okay. into it. Uh, should it go more yellow or does it go white? Does it start white and then go yellow? Sure. Don't you sass me. I'm not sassing you. It starts white and then goes yellow. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Size. Size? How do I make this overall size larger? Do I... I think I add something here, like a, a, a float, maybe? Float? 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 In? Float. I think it might be a float. Yeah, float. But don't, no, don't sink the boat. That float. you built, um, you built size. a keeper float. Put the size here. Can you guys see what I'm doing? You can, kind of. And then we stick that in the size. Stick that in the. I can't stick that in the size. Oh, 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 oh! Maybe it needs to be a vector three. Vector three. How's that? Oh. Have a look. What does this need to be? I have to do the effects in the middle too, don't I? I'd forgotten about that. So it begins, the light of love still dances beneath the skin. Uh, I just want to set what the size is. Okay, I guess I don't understand this. I just want, I just want to make... I just want to make them bigger. Maybe I need oh. to do something. <laughs> okay. So I think this this works well enough, maybe. I am actually gonna... Oh, I can't. I've destroyed everything. Never mind then, it's fine. <laughs> I'm sure it will be fine. Uh, I need to do the thing in the middle. The ding dang dingly dangly doobly middle thing. The, you know the the, the the fucking thing. The 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 effects. That's the word. Gotta do the effects. Time to have problems again. Here we go, let's choose a bright, bright pink. Uh, and it starts coming in here. Cool, 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 cool. Is that the side of my face I see over there? It's... Just get that off screen.
so um i'm i'm not great at um doing nice um shapes with effects so i hope that this will be passable you're not great at what doing nice shapes with effects oh so i hope that this will be passable are you tweening it yourself am i doing it myself yeah yeah i mean cool Unless anyone wants to do them for me. No, no, I said, are you tweening it yourself? Like the two sides coming in. Uh, yeah, I'm not tweening it at all. I'll be animating it by hand. Okay. What do you mean? Do you mean in betweening it or do you mean tweening it? I mean, are you moving the effect across the screen yourself? I'm not moving the effect across the screen with pegs. Okay. I'm drawing it going across the screen. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. I think at the very root base of my question is, are you moving it or am I moving it? And the answer is you are moving it, oh, which yes. is fine. I am drawing it moving. Yep. There's a way in the visual effects graph to have the particle stretch based on speed. I'm trying to remember. What's everyone up to today? Tell me what have you got planned this Friday? Kazakh says work in the morning, work in the afternoon, work in the evening. Oh man, really? I hope you get a bit of a break as well though, Kara. You're three weeks off after you're done with your scene. Are you going to be done today, do you think, Kula? Is today the last day for you, or...? Pablo says sleep, then draw emotes, then stream game, then watch Ponyo with friends and- Oh, that sounds really nice. Oh, what a cool day. That sounds awesome. Yeah. That sounds really cool. Evelyn, you're gonna animate something, but first you're gonna go shop. I really like like hearing that you were thinking about taking a year off, by the way, Evelyn, to, to do some animation training. That's super cool.
Man. Effects are hard. I say this every time I do them, but they always are. In my defense. Are you thinking you need a bachelor's, Evelyn, because you need you want to go somewhere outside of the country and visa your way somewhere else? Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, going around the world to work would be incredible. I remember Mike was telling me about this concept artist and he just like takes his, his computer that he paints on and he just travels around the world and he's like, he'll be in China for three weeks doing some commissions and working and then he'll hop over to like New York and then he'll be in Hawaii for a little bit and he'll just hop around to wherever he fancies because he can work from anywhere and I'm like geez oh that sounds like like what a life I would love to do that for a little bit Yeah, imagine having that kind of cash. I guess you wouldn't have to um, pay for bills or anything. Like, I'm assuming that you would either just rent or Airbnb your way around. You probably would have to, I don't know, depending on how long you'd stay, but you'd probably have to hotel it or something if you were only staying for a short amount of time. Hmm. I think this dude was like a very well-known concept artist though like i think he was making like not a not an unreasonable amount of money i my brain says it was ben marrow like i think he's the kind of person who like he does a commission for like 800 or a thousand or something and he you know works on concept art for films and stuff so he's contract pay is like not not terrible I think they still don't get paid as much as they should to be honest uh because like but I think they definitely get paid more of a reasonable wage than most other artists do hey buff yeah it's screaming time is it Screaming time. Screaming Are the concept time. artists higher or lower? Huh? Um, Kurzik says, I have some concept artist friends who are baffled at the day rate difference between themselves and mine. Yeah. Way higher. Okay. 
yeah. I feel a little bit the same way about um, storyboarding. Like, it's still not like, whoa, mega books, but it's definitely like, I've been paid much more for boarding than I ever have for animation. And I think in terms of the work labour, they're very comparable. Yeah, it does feel a bit unfair, I agree. Like, I think that boarding is like an incredibly intense, difficult job, but I think so is animation. You know what I actually think it is? I think it's purely that you need more animators to make a show than you need boarders. And so companies just try to get them for cheaper because they know they have to get more of them. same with concept art like you really only need one or two concept artists mm. so maybe that's why they get paid more whereas you need you know 30 to 100 animators oh Ula, i'm happy that you are earning more than scraps now though Yeah, I mean, concept artists do incredible work and it's really defining stuff. But the people who do the meat of the work are the, in terms of games, are the programmers and the animators. You know, the riggers. Honestly, mostly the programmers. But weirdly, you'll find that they get paid the lowest wage wages and it probably is because you need more of them. And the companies just aren't prepared to pay 100 people concept artist wages. Do programmers get quite good pay? Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I would have assumed they wouldn't, to be honest. <laughs> Guess that's just my assumption, um, knowing how kind of overworked they are frequently. It's depending, on the, it's depending on the company as well. Kind of assumed they would be in the same boat as animators who get as overworked as programmers but don't get the, <laughs> the pay for it. Uh... Yeah, I don't know either then. Like, if you, th if you think if game companies can afford to pay program as well, then animation companies would be able to afford to pay animate as well. Uh, Evelyn's saying that game devs are the animators of programmers, as in, like, if you're not working in game dev and you're programming, you'll probably get paid more. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that's what Evelyn is saying. You read it to me again, just so I understand. Um, if you were a programmer and you were working in something like not that wasn't game development, you'd probably be paid significantly higher than you do in than you would if you were doing similar stuff in game dev. So, say you were oh. writing software for a bank. You'd get paid way more than You'd if you were You'd get paid writing. way more than for writing software for a game. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> oh, thanks, Invisible Guy. This is all Mike. Thanks, Young. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, I made it. I made you glow. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Pink of Pink has a very good point. I'm just going to read it because it's true. I mean, games are so hard to make, but man, do you get paid bad. And everybody wants to play games. Why does no one want to pay the workers then? <laughs> right? It sucks. It simply sucks. I guess that's why unions are so important. Yeah. Make sure you at least like have some defense against really unreasonable demands. 
I think I think it's because games are fun. People assume that they're fun to make, and assume that. I think there's there's a big assumption among people that if you really love your work and really love what you do and love games, then making them should be fun for you. And therefore, because you're just having fun all day, you don't deserve to be paid the same as someone who's laboring all day in something that is less interesting. You know, I think people might think because animations are fun to look at and games are fun to play, that they must be really fun and easy to make. <laughs> Did you see what Tip said? Yeah. Cool, cool. <laughs> I was trying to do it yesterday and it's why the screen started up black this morning. Um, I think one of the steps that he has in there is like, I have to be using the default um, render pipeline and I'm currently not, I'm using URP. So I don't know if that's just one step that's like cannot cannot do yeah radical redhead says also people they pay retail work nothing despite retail being incredibly taxing yeah yeah at the end of the day i think every every job is taxing in its own way um and the people who are working in them Everybody deserves to get paid enough to be able to live comfortably. <laughs> Every person who is like working hard deserves to get paid enough, like no matter what their job is. You know, billionaires deserve to be paid a little bit less and everybody else deserves to be paid a little bit more. So that they don't have to like worry about crunching to be able to afford rent or food. full-time job should pay enough to live yeah yeah absolutely without you needing to do extra anything it should pay enough it should not be an issue once you have a job you should be good to go in terms of money that should just be how it is it shouldn't be oh well you know these people deserve to get paid a reasonable wage to live on because they work really hard it should be everybody deserves to get paid a reasonable wage to live on and maybe these people deserve to get paid a little bit more because of the amount of work and effort they put into stuff. I don't know. Yeah, exactly, Infosa Guy. Being able to make enough on one job to live? What is this, the 20s? Yeah, exactly. All. Exactly, Tib, I agree. There's no such thing as unskilled labour. All jobs need to be done. All deserve a fair salary. Exactly. Every single job is a necessity. Whether you're, you know, working in the Kmart, selling people their food, to uh, emptying bins, to, I don't know, cleaning stuff, to being an animator. Every single one of those has to be done by someone and every single person who's doing them deserves to get paid enough to live comfortably because of the work they do. If it's important enough for us to need to hire people to do it, then it's important enough that those people get paid properly for it. Great. Yeah, exactly. Habbo, remember who were the essential workers and heroes last year, says Habbo. Exactly, it's all talking about like how the real heroes were the, the essential workers and then immediately forgetting that and continuing to pay them like crap. They just got claps and people buying in dishes. I, yeah, pay them. I, I, I only got the second hand um, thing of that because my dad, when we were doing the Bloodborne thing, he'd be like, uh, at, at like 8 p.m. or something like oh, I gotta go clap and I'm like why uh, it's nice like it is a nice show of like we support you but it's... that only goes so far <laughs> what it should really be the is... context of it though is so it's it's 
the thing is it's government mandated because it's the government trying to find a way to appreciate the workers without actually needing to pay them more it's like just pay them more they deserve it they've always deserved it they deserved it before the pandemic they deserve it now yeah as as uh evelyn's saying clap is nice but not without a pay raise yeah a clap is nice to feel appreciated but it should be more than just that <laughs> i do you know <sighs> those people are like Don't... literally risking their lives in a pandemic to get you toothpaste you know it's did you know the uk government wasted uh billions of pounds trying to something something some i'm saying billions a crazy amount of money developing the app for a track and trace because they wanted to use their own rather than using one elsewhere and they and they didn't it wasn't working for months months seems like, like a good thing to take a risk on fucking hell <laughs> like, it's like a non-important essential thing to take a risk on it was billions fucking hell that is actually infuriating yeah it's like don't bank don't take a risk on that just use the thing you know works and fork out for it it still doesn't work <laughs> basically they contracted it out to people they knew friends or whatever and they've just banked however much I, mm, that is a crow no. cube hold on let me That might be the first time you've actually heard me genuinely be angry <laughs> on stream. Let me check out mod view so I can make sure I haven't missed a crow mail. <laughs> I did miss a crow mail. Hold on. It's like 45 minutes ago. Oh my gosh, I've missed so many. Wait. <laughs> How did I miss all these crow mails? I got a crow mail um, from a single pal who says, Long Rowlet says good morning. <laughs> good morning, Long Rowlet. We also got one from Ben who said something in what I can assume to be Japanese, <laughs> but I cannot read it, Ben. Or is it a hi all There we go. And then we got one from another one from Ben. I'm again I'm fixing this. He said, Maxi Love, dude, FPS. I don't know what that means, but there you are. Maxi Love, dude, FPS. <laughs> they were emotes. I see. <laughs> well, I read them. <laughs> That's how your emotes sound. <laughs> okay, India. The easiest way to record you. Premiere, probably. Uh, no, guys, what is happening? <laughs> I started playing crow sounds on Epidemic. Oh, okay. And we couldn't <laughs> really hear them, but they could. Oh, I couldn't hear them. Oh, man. Okay, we can either use an actual crow noise. Or India can record a crow noise. Is he firing me? I'm not firing you. Is you he... can still do the crow noise. Is Mike firing I'm just, I'm going to make it audible when a crow mail arrives. So, <laughs> India. <laughs> India, I'm going to record you. <laughs> Nobody needs people imitating crows now. Now that they have real crows. <laughs> now that nature's invented real crows, I'm out of a job. Get these crows out. <laughs> okay. I, I, I can record a crow noise for you if you want. That's, yeah, cool. Okay, I need... You want me to do it now? Yeah, give me a second. Give me a <laughs> the crow's second stealing India's job. <laughs> or did I steal their job to begin with? That's the real question. Okay, we'll just we'll just do it in here because I don't know how to make a track without whatever. They took your jobs. They took their jobs. They took their jobs. All right, which which one are you on? You are. 
properties to ATR USB microphone. Okay, cool. Edit. Good morning, liquor shop. How's it going? What are you laughing at? You. <laughs> all day, every day. What? What do you mean? Do you Edit. mean all day, every day? Every day I'm laughing at you. Anyway. Why? Every day. Why? God. <laughs> What's that an answer? You make me sad. <laughs> you bring me ultimate sadness. Ultimate sadness. Okay. Oh man. India, make crow noises. Oh! Oh! I did it, I did it. Make more crow noises. Oh! 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 Cool. No, I just, I just want, I just want. Oh! Oh! That'll do. Don't get the flutter sounds. True. I'm not doing the flutter sounds. Flat, flat, Basically, flat, flat. I want to have something that grows on the entry of, 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 of flaps coming in. You can't Flaps. fight. Stamps coming in. You can't crow. You can't fly. In... You're not Robin Hood. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I was just... Fuck. I just thought it would make you laugh to like mix them up. <laughs> You're not Robin Williams. <laughs> You're not Robin Williams. You can't fight, can't crow. Custom, custom, I want to export a MP3 Cool, and then it's called Crow Mail Crow Mail, Crow -mail. Save Export Done Oh man, that's so fast uh, I'm fast cool. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Okay, close. This the... is a weird shape, but let's just keep it. Why not? Let's go find where that went. Uh, download. Okay, so animation breakfast con Crow Mail Crow X goes over to current projects. Game dev. Thank you, just. Pigajos 2, Assets, Dog Swift Overlay, uh, make a new folder, call that folder. Walnut Stand. folder. What? Walnut folder. Walnut folder, no. Uh -huh. Crow mail crow. Um, okay. Let's think about this. How do I get it? How do I get it to play when... is uh, yelling at me from behind my head. Can you have those sounds to make remixes with? Yes, of course you can. We would never stop you guys from making remixes. <laughs> Mike is, is going to murder Buffy now. He's gone. Why are 3D animators bad at making people laugh? 
they only give particle. <laughs> oh man. I mean, there is something though, isn't there? I mean, do you guys think that it's more difficult to do comedy animation in 3D than it is in 2D? Yeah. Like, when I look at stuff like... Um, I look at stuff like the Tom and Jerry 3D movie and the Garfield 3D movie and all that stuff. It does feel like it's... It feels like it's harder for those animators to do comedy than it was in the 2D versions. I think actually also to an extent, I think that um, it's even harder to do visual comedy when you have like Disney budgets with 2D animation. Because I'm thinking about like stuff like Looney Tunes back in action, Space Jam and stuff. A lot of the time, the comedy in those films didn't land as well as it did in the original 2D cartoons. I was just about to say, I think the funniest 3D animation I've seen is in Hotel Transylvania. Yeah. And but I believe that is because they are Unafraid. Doing, doing their absolute best to emulate 2D design, like 2D um, approaches. What I think it is, is that... Um, in feature films and such, the storyboard artist's board like it's a feature film. By which I mean they use lots of like shots with a lot of depth and a lot of interesting angles. And that that's a hard thing to stage comedy from. In Hotel T, they weren't afraid to go super flat a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. Like if you look at those shots and count how many times it's either flat onto Dracula on his face or flat on profile of Dracula. And it's because they're the best shots to get the silhouettes in and mm -hmm. to play the comedy in. But it feels like a lot of times people in feature films are kind of afraid to go that flat because they want it to stand apart from TV animation. So they try to really push the depth a lot, but that doesn't always help with the com with comedy. Why am I just gone? I think it's also to do with... Um, the smoothness of the animation. I think that when you have a feature film, everyone wants the animation to be like super lush and gorgeous all the time, which means a lot of in-betweens. But sometimes the best comedy comes from using very few frames. But I think maybe animators feel pressured to do like a more animated version of the same thing. What do you think about, why do you think the, the Dracula is a dull character design? In Hotel T. I can kind of see that. He's just very regular, you know? I think... I don't think there's anything of, wrong with it. Part of me it. feels like that is intentionally appropriate because he is... I feel like he's just a man. <laughs> oh yeah, I think if you were just to like do a Dracula design, that would be one of your first ideas. If someone said like, Make a Dracula, but he looks kind of like a nice guy. Like, that would be one of your first designs. But I don't think it's a bad thing. Like, I think it works perfectly well. I think they're... Um, Especially the silhouettes and stuff, the way they push him. Completely aping... Um, what's his name? What's, what's the name? Of the actor. Uh, no. Well, yes, the actor, but of the particular film that I'm trying to think of. Bella, Bella Lugosi. I think they're like they're making their version of Bella Lugosi as Dracula. Yeah, exactly. How though? Like his design isn't like I wouldn't say his design facially and such is super iconic, but I would say that it's very it's really nice to animate with. Like Havo says, his whole body is pretty much his cape. It's simple, but simple in the good way. You know. It's mm -hmm. a it's a cape with a man's head on top, <laughs> and the cape does fun, interesting stuff in animation, and the face is nicely designed enough that it has like a lot of stretch, stretch and squash in it, and you can do a lot of fun stuff with it. Oh Ben, I think it's a it's a fair criticism. Like they could definitely have made him more interesting, um, but I think he works really well in the context of what he's meant to be doing. 
and he allows the animators to play a lot. The difference in facial expressions is incredible. It's great, isn't it? Screw all you people who are talking about having to keep things on model. There is no model. The model is whatever works best for the shot. Like, he can go from this to, where was it? To this. Yeah, it's a completely different character, but who cares? Like, whatever works for the shot, right? Have we seen the latest Hotel Transylvania shot on Twitter? Yeah! It's so cool! It looks amazing. Mavis is an iconic character design. Much more than Drac is, I think. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> I think they just took you know, the old school Dracula, this guy. I think they pretty much just took this guy as their base. Yeah. And they were like, let's make Bella the Ghost Ape, but make him out of Play-Doh. Play-Doh? Yeah. I'd but assume they would be, Habbo. I I'm guessing that's probably like they were doing this at the same time as the next movie or just after. Would you say it was a very different style to the previous movies? See you, Hinka Pink. We should end soon. Okay. Uh, I, I never... There's a thing that you can do with particle effects where um, I got distracted. I was doing sounds, wasn't I? What? Um, where it can kind of spike up. I'm trying to remember how to do those. Let's see. How about says a little bit? The smears and stuff felt way more pushed in this short than in the previous films. Interesting. Maybe they're finding their feet a little bit more with it. I definitely think it looks fantastic. I love that every 2D anime is like, yes, finally 3D, the way I understand it. Maybe I should make your effect blue so that they stand out against your, nah, make it yellow. So fun to watch. Oh, don't start. Don't you start with me. He must say yes. Make him say I'm yes. tired of like Sorry. dumb animation takes from people who aren't animators. Because they're all like that. But why can't it be more realistic? Realistic is better. Crunch is better. <clears throat> okay, this kind of ties into this um Okay, I have two things two things to say before we before we close off. Um the fixation on smoothness and animation is detrimental to animation. Detrimental to animation. Um and to animators. Because if the if the epitome or if the like the mountaintop that everyone's climbing up to is smoothness, that's it's it's the it's <laughs> Okay. The people... same people who say, wow, the animation's good, it's so smooth, are the same people who are like, 60 frames per second, I love it, it's so smooth. Yeah. I liken it to people who are like, man, why can't all food be come in paste form? <laughs> you know? Like, I, I really love it when I eat stuff that's just out of a tube. Like, what are you talking about? You want texture in your experience. They don't, they just want... Just want buttery smoothness. That's all that matters. It doesn't matter if the animation's good, so long as it's smooth. <laughs> the Kurzik's like, I don't know, I think it just looks good, smiley face. And then at immediately after is that hurt to type. <laughs> um But it, it's the same it's the same thing in those who like we we're talking about um when you interpolate live action footage. Or like there was an example recently that someone took Jason and the Argonauts, the stop motion animated stuff, and they were like, this is what it would look like if it was like eight times smoother. 
and here's it here it is at 60 frames per second if you look if you watch that footage and you watch the actors not just the stop motion but you watch the actors it feels like you're watching a home video and the higher frame rate like if you bring something that is supposed to be smoke and mirrors cinema magic and you increase the frame rate you look it looks like you're watching actors perform it lo- it breaks the visual suspension of disbelief like suspension of belief it breaks it because it looks like you're watching reality and i do not think that the trend should go towards let's make films look more and more real because films are not supposed to be films are inherently meant to be a fantasy yeah like, and they're meant to take you to a world the even f- if that world is like our own you know the direction is always going to be to push it in a way which um, jives with the message of the film and presents that in the most the most affecting way possible and often that's a heightening of reality um yeah like i watched um, part of the hobbit when it was like oh look cool it's 48 frames per second i was like cool i feel like i'm on set and you don't want to feel like you're on set you want to feel like you're in fucking frodo baggins's front room with a bunch of wizards and and dwarfs you don't want to feel like you're there watching it be filmed um it i just don't get it i don't get what the fascination and fixation is i think it's just people who don't understand it who like want to sound like they understand it or think they know it's it, yeah, it's just people who don't understand it basically saying oh but surely this would make it better that makes sense to me i want to see more of these frames like 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 cool okay it's the gamers like surely the more high definition and the higher frame rate the better So yeah, I'm, I'm saying my piece on it. What weirds me out sometimes is like we when we went you used to go around to your friends India, like that particular time you went to watch um Thor Ragnarok, I could tell that the TV was interpolating the frames, but you were like, I don't see it. Yeah, I couldn't tell. I don't <laughs> I don't understand how you couldn't tell. I just couldn't, like But you're, you're, I would presume that your animator brain would f- give you, like, that data. So I'm confused. Maybe it was because it was live action. I might have been able to tell a little bit better if it was animation. Maybe. But yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't tell that the live action was interplayed. I mean, we were watching Hulk, so that would have been animated. Like, going around being Hulk. Yeah. Don't know, man. I don't know. I think maybe what I meant to say was if it was 2D animation, I would be able to tell a bit better. Yeah, okay. Uh, Anyway. Crow nail. Crow nail, crow. Okay, so. If we go on the crow... Should the crow, should the crow do the crow once, sound once, or should it just loop? <laughs> I mean, I think you should do it once. I think if it loops, that's going to be a nightmare, surely. It get you to read crow mails and dismiss them faster. But the thing is, you're the one who would be in control of stopping that sound, not me. How? How would I stop the sound? You dismiss the crow. No way! Oh, okay. I can't believe this. I think I think just do it once. If you don't want to drive me like bonkers. Okay. Does that mean I can't do live crow sounds anymore? You can still do live crow sounds. I'm just I'm trying to figure out a way <laughs> that it's like the crow is approaching. You could just have like a bonk or something, or a little fanfare. You chose to to use my my crow sounds.
I thought it would be appropriate. I'm I mean, sorry. It's okay. Just be sad if I didn't get to do them anymore. <laughs> How about that? What is that? It's like a zoo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Sure. That sounds great. Sounds sounds awesome. I don't know if we'll be able to hear it. What do you mean? I could hear it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> you want that every time there's a yeah, crow now? Yeah, sure. That sounds great to me. Even the at the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Until we get really annoyed with it in like one stream. <laughs> this time we don't want it anymore. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Sounds good to me. Okay. You asked for this then. I did. <laughs> so I think I can just There we go, we have some effects. They're interesting. I don't know if they're particularly great, but they, they're doing a thing. And then we need a speed line background on that, which makes me wonder if no it might way. need help. I can't believe this. With the speed light. Do you need help with the speed lines? What speed lines? Add some sparks when they match. Yeah, you're right. I should do that. I was being lazy. Oh, uh, no, I can I can do. Oh, Pablo, thank you. Um, I can do speed lines. If you want to hand hand draw the speed lines, though, you're welcome to. Nah, man, it's good. Yeah, I was being lazy with it, but I should totally do some sparks when they match. OK, so then we go into the script. Are we in the client? Cool, we're in the client. Um, I think it's audio source. Okay, public. I don't know if this is the right way to do it. I'll have a mood waiting for Guilty Gear. Like, Argh! when's it going to be here? Right, we should head off ski. Oh, Hang on, I need I need to do the crow mail. I need to complete this loop. Otherwise, I, I won't I won't be able to title the, the stream properly. But I finished though. But you finished though. Very good, India. Have have a sip of tea. Yeah, have a sip of tea. If I was a rich man, na 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 na. Wait, skips to 70? What are you, what are you talking about? What skips to what? I don't know. Pyro says, uh, well, sorry, Ula says, I hope Pyro skips straight right to 70 when the time comes. Oh, because he's on 64 gift subs. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. That's and we're on, so many. We're on 69 viewers, apparently. 64 now. You frighten them away with your talk of sexy numbers. <laughs> the sexiest numbers. Can you interpolate things at higher than 60 frames a second? What if we were to interpolate something at like 500 frames a second? Could we do that? 
Yeah, you just need a piece of media that can play at that rate. The thing is though, the human eyeball can only see a certain frames per second anyway, right? So at a certain point, yeah, you're going to be increasing it and it's just not going to look any different. Yeah, I think we tap out at like 200, maybe even less. We should go to whatever the max is. <laughs> no, we shouldn't. Why? We should. We can't see more than 120. <laughs> ben, that's my main menu for dead OS runs at like 400 frames a second. Why? Ben, limit that shit. Ben, why? You why does it do that? <laughs> why? People will run your game and it, the, the computers will just go... <laughs> that's really funny. The real question is, can your computer survive running the game? Literally dead away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, interesting. Power Bro says, eyes can sometimes see at 6 frames per second and sometimes 120, depends on the situation. Okay, so that's set to that, that's set to that. It really irks me when people think that the number of exposures that animators use means frames per second. So they're like, oh, that person's walking on eight frames a second. It's like, no, they're not. They're walking on fours, actually. And 24 frames a second, like everything else in the shot. Because you can't have a shot with different people on different frames per second because a shot's going to play at a certain frames per second. So that's going to be the frames per second that it plays on, no matter what. Anyway. Whoa, Ula can see 9,000 frames per nanosecond. That's amazing. Who the fuck walks on fours? Maybe I do, Ula. Huh? Maybe I do. <laughs> Wait, Ben, what? This sounds a lot like my pet peeve with half an A press. There is no such thing as half an A press. Wait a second, what's that in? I'm trying to imagine like Street Fighter where it's like quarter circle forward and half an A press. <laughs> What? What is the what, what? Is that where you like half press a button? Yeah, what is that? There's a YouTube video about speedruns for Mario where they count the number of A presses. <laughs> and they're like half an A press, and you're like, that's just an A press. <laughs> I guess I don't, Radical Redhead. I guess I don't. That's really funny. I just imagine Ben like freaking out while he's watching this video. Some days they are like half and I'm like, no. <laughs> That's a full goddamn A press. It's a full A press. Alright, alright. If the if the input is triggered, then it's triggered. Pablo says, what res and frame rate do your eyes see in when you spin? When you spin rapidly in a low lit room, and what resin frame rate when you fixate your view at your lover's eyes? <laughs> Power bro, that's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay. Let's see. An A. So radical redhead says an A press is the action of pressing it down and releasing it. So holding down A is half an A press. But you have to lift it to press it down again. <laughs> so unless you're just indefinitely holding it. <laughs> Ben's just screaming no. I mean, I'm not a gamer. I don't know these things. All right. Whoa, I'm glowing. <laughs> yeah, you are. I forgot to turn that off. I'm glowing. Yeah, you are. There's no way that that'll change. I'm in the regeneration pool. <laughs> Okay. BRB turning into an angel. Go Super Saiyan, India. <laughs> Did it work? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. There you go. <laughs> That's the amazing transformation sequence. All right, all right, all right. Someone send a crow mail. Did they? I didn't hear the sound. No, someone send us one. Oh. Radical Redhead says in Mario 64, holding down A changes Mario's punch to a kick. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Hold on. Allowing the Mario City 4 mission, watch for falling rocks to be completed in only half an A press. I don't understand, but I mean, that sounds legit to me, Ben. How loud is that? You're welcome. Oh! Fuck! <laughs> oh! Oh! It's a crow mail. Um, it's a crow mail from Kurzek. It says, fuck. Then we got another one from Pavo who says, I won't send a crow mail when you ask me. Wait. And then Ben said, bum cheer bum. And then Kurzak said as well saying farts. <laughs> Doodle says that's going to be phoned for like a week. <laughs> I agree. Okay, a day. <laughs> oh, it it's going to very quickly. <laughs> it's going to very quickly uh, wear out our patience, I'm sure. Oh my gosh. Well, we need a different thing to change it to if it's not going to be that forever. So, you know. Could have been Cast India crowing. Could have just been India crowing. Yeah, but then I would have to crow again. Yeah. It's like when a child gets a new toy with sounds. It's so true. Oh. Uh. Man. The little list next to me of stuff that... I think we made a list of stuff we were going to get from the coffee shop ages and ages ago. And it's resurfaced next to me. And I'm not meant to be having sugar this month at all. But on it, it's got like iced caramel latte, cinnamon roll, tea. And I'm like, fuck, that sounds so fucking good. Aww. Oh. Yeah, again, no sugar. I'm, I'm doing it again. So we're doing it in bursts. So we do like... We do like three weeks. And then we have a week break. Then we do another three weeks. Um, so I'm trying not to have coffee or sugar for the next three weeks. <laughs> Slow you down. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. You're trapped. How are you going to get out now? Should I add attack animations? Yeah. <laughs> what you gonna do now, you little floating bitch? <laughs> Get bombed! Get bombed! <laughs> 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 no! 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 <laughs> She's a flying murderer! No! No! <laughs> I can't! I don't even want to love you too much, I can't! Help! <laughs> All the fucking cereal boxes, the bombs, and the two horns going off at the same time! This is hell! We've made hell! You can wait. You can wait. <laughs> oh! Oh, we got Chromel from Happy who says, Caught you off guard! <laughs> and Ben who said, Sorry, I followed through a bit on that one. And then Doodle says, Well, this isn't a Chromel, but Doodle says, Did you guys see the gifts from the game Gartic Phone on Pegbar? I didn't. I really want to play that with you guys, though. It looks really fun. And then, Oh, oh! Because they said, God, my God, today's Chromel! <laughs> Official Hexbox says, Hello! And Martina says, have a nice weekend, everybody. Bye-bye. I think this is a good time. I think we should stop. <laughs> There's too much chaos. All right. All right. All right. Your animation's looking cool, Swifty. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. I have to send all these crows away. There we go. I might make it so that, like, if if 
if stamps is already flown in, then another letter just gets thrown at him or something. And That's what it, I suggested. You dismiss another. Yeah. You just dismiss Stayed one. Say it all like it's your idea. <laughs> We've been Dog and Swift. You've been amazing. Thank you so much for coming today. Oh, go, go get some stuff and do it, and then good luck with it. Uh, we we might be back this weekend. We might stream this weekend. We might stream some Skyrim. Tomorrow? Yeah. Um, um, in the morning. Probably around the same time, going for a little bit longer. Yeah. Um, we'll see. But yeah, if, if you want to join us with that, that'd be really fun. But also, just have an awesome weekend. Everybody, you made it to the end of another week. Well done. Kezek linked some great art. Really? In this chat or in the peg bar? I will find it. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Oh, should you want to show this? Yeah, I do. Okay. Give me the full screen. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I have that yet. I will make that thing. Though. Oh no, this is terrible. <laughs> you have to put it over to the right a bit more. Sorry. Move, Move yourself. <laughs> Jeez. Why would you bomb me? I didn't. Someone else did. Why would you bomb me, chat? This is amazing. <laughs> Indian dog having a fight. That, yep, yeah, that's us having a... India destroys dog with her giant f <laughs> fist. Oh no. <laughs> dog will get squished. But... What? No. 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 Bear boy might got a new pair of glasses. <laughs> Go straight back to innocence straight after. That's terrible. That's terrible. You're all terrible. All right, guys. You have an awesome weekend. Why we don't fight? We never fight. We'd we never, never we never fight, fight all the time, guys. We're gonna go off this stream and I'm gonna fight with Doig about <laughs> how he tried to get rid of my crow noises. I didn't try and get I tried to add them. I tried to make you crow oh, noises. Oh, we're just part trying to get rid of them. There you are, you see, it's happening. I was <laughs> trying to make it so that it crowed the crow noise that I was saving the, the fight for make. after the stream, Doig. And then And then it would be part of the whole experience. Instead we got the fucking kazoo. I love the kazoo. I think they hear it louder than we do. I think they're punishing themselves. I hope so. Um, who are we raiding? Uh, Domo. Domo, we're, we're raiding Domo. Domo. Domo Stanton is a really cool, chill um, comic <laughs> oh artist. Oh my god. It's a crow bell. hold on. Because they said, stream the fightening. <laughs> okay, sure. This time, Dog and I have a fight. We'll just stick the uh, the stream on, and you guys can all take sides. If you've not if you've not experienced Domo's stream before, he's he's super cool, super chill, super friendly, super welcoming. Um, oh. Oh. If you are interested, yeah, we're gonna play some Skyrim. It's gonna be magic boys go to college with the adventures doot doot. of Bumblebur and uh, who else? Big Niblin. Big Niblin. How could you forget about the Big Niblin? Boy. I wanted you to introduce yourself. How uh, I didn't forget. Uh, Habo says, looking forward to Skyrim tomorrow. And Kazakh says, magic boys! Magic boys go to college. We're, we're trying to get there. This sounds so bad. <laughs> Anyway, take care, everyone, and Bye -bye. may the rest of your day be filled with adventure. Hug, hug yourselves today.
complete silence and then